been in the SCA for about three years. And um, I had heard a lot of music. I heard a lot of, um, you know, magical music, choir music, music um, written in the style of various uh, period um, forms. That was not well expressed. Um, but I had never heard any music like the music that I was writing on my own. Um, then one night I was invited to a friend's house after a revel. And um, I arrived very late. And I was seated around the corner in a hallway from the living room. The reason I was seated there was because every square inch of space in the living room, in the adjoining dining room, in the adjoining kitchen was packed with people. And there were two men there trading a guitar back and forth. They were both very good. Um, but one of them was exceptional. His name was Brad of Cambria. We called him Brayden the Minstrel. Um, like a lot of musicians in the SCA at that time, perhaps his muse was a little bit too attentive. He was a, uh, he was a unique individual who followed his own path. Um, but sitting there, out of sight of him, in a hallway in a stranger's house, for the first time in all the three years I'd been in the SCA, I knew what I wanted to be when I grew up. <laughs> I knew right then what I wanted to be. I wanted to be a bard. I didn't want to be someone who sang sometimes. I didn't want to be a choir director. I didn't want to be a harpist. I wanted to be a bard, capital B. Companion to princes. Advisor to kings. That's what I wanted to be. And I was lucky enough to get to know Braden and to have the opportunity to play with him and spend time with him and have his advice. Um, and eventually I began working on a song that I wanted to sing with Brandon. Um, unfortunately, that was never to happen. Um, but the song turned out fairly well. <laughs> Of a woman of beauty and the treasure she needed to hold. She was born youngest daughter to the king of the gypsies in a time long since past us, a world long grown gold. It was then that the old kings saved the world and their great ships to steal more value than silver or gold. Now the king was a hard man, driven by anger. The hard heart is iron and latter than coal. And he gave great offense to the troll of the Shetlands. So in their anger, his daughter they stole. Now the king's men went searching all over the islands, but they found not a trace of his daughter so fair. And the king in disgrace was returned to his castle, where he died in his anguish and darkest despair. Now the troll raised a gypsy, they called her Selena. They gave her a voice that was lighter than air. <laughs> Mine? No, 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 no. <laughs> Moving on. <laughs> I like to know you, my child, may live on forever. Came in a day when old death called for all. The troll in every ring bound up with spirits, with spells and with warnings and stories and songs. Now you should go riding at night in the Shetlands. You might find a tree all over by the shore, and you might hear music that calls you gently. Into the troll lands, your spirit might soar. To a world loud as thunder, as blinding as lightning, as cold as granite, in these hard 
castle floors Just a heartbeat away From the death mask so frightening Put your hand out to greet her And the whole world is yours She's the ghost of the Shetlands Her eyes dark as sable She sing you the stories First heard long ago